happy wax on Wednesdays. I am back with another uh, vintage collage. This one's a little bit bigger this week. It's a 12 by 12 and I'm using a yes paste to go ahead and glue down the photo before I get started. A while back I got these photos from uh, one of those just one hour photo places and it had said matte finish on it and I learned at that time that there's a big difference between a matte finish and an actual matte photo paper uh, and those of you who have taken encaustecology and encaustecology collage know that I'm a big stickler for the matte photo paper and that's because the ink on an inkjet printer the ink will completely saturate into the photo and that's what works best with encaustic when you're uh, working with photos uh, as opposed to having the ink set on top and in this case the ink on this uh, matte finish photo uh, is the ink and the finish are sitting right on top and you can tell that there's still a little bit of gloss to the photo. So this is a little bit of an experiment and discovery this week to see if this photo is going to work with encaustic. It has um, the appearance of not being absorbent at all with that finish sitting on top and of course that's very important part of uh, materials that you work with when working with encaustic that they are absorbent and will absorb the wax. And it seemed like a shame not to use the photo at all so I thought what a perfect a uh, way to experiment on wax on Wednesdays and to see if it worked. And here I'm just applying some clear encaustic medium to the entire surface of the painting. And fusing it flat with my heat gun. normally drag the excess wax back off with the catalyst blade when the wax is still warm after I fuse it and you can see in that right hand corner of the photo where the ink and everything just dragged right off with the blade. Um, so it's got a big hole in it and it went right down to that photo paper. And this can be covered up, it's not a total loss, but you can see why uh, using an inkjet printer and having the ink completely saturate and absorb down into the paper and having nothing sitting on top to drag off like that would be uh, beneficial. These are the used tea bags that I've been working with. And I did just a little uh, stamping on some of them and I actually used a wood burning tool on um, quite a few of them just to add a little bit of uh, something to them, a little bit of interest, a little mark making um, if you will on the tea bags. So on some of them I used um, just some India ink and a stamp and then on others I just uh, used the wood burning tool and did a little uh, pattern in them just to um, add a little something to the bag. laid over, applied over a layer of encaustic that's already down. 
and here I've uh, applied it over the first initial layer of emplastic and I put the torch on a very, very low setting so I don't uh, burn the paper that's already down on my board. And as you're going to see, the only way that glue is really going to burn is if the wax melts away in spots and the glue gets down to uh, the wood surface. It's not going to really uh, burn very well when it's supported in the wax medium. Now I've dragged all the wax off and the glue with the catalyst blade, uh, which is the great thing about encaustic is that there are no mistakes. You can just scrape back to the beginning. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the wood glue again, this time over uh, just the wood surface itself. And a much better result this time with the glue just being directly on the wood. There's still a little bit of waxy residue attached to the wood so not quite as clean of a burn as if you would have just done it fresh with no medium added at all but uh, this is a much uh, a much better wood glue burn and I still have it on a really really low setting because I don't want to upset the paper that's already down on the board and of course I'm never pointing the uh, torch at the paper at all just directly there on the wood glue. each different type of paper once they're dipped into the encaustic medium comes out a different uh, neutral shade and creams and tans and some very rich some very pale and I love the contrast that that creates in a collage composition is a little bit all over dark so I'm going to go ahead and cover up that glue burn. I'm leaving a little bit that's going to show through in the end but I'm painting um, for the most part painting it white uh, with uh, several coats of white encaustic. And one of my favorite techniques is to scratch back into the piece and uh, sort of unify it color-wise with a oil paint stick. majority of it with some vegetable oil really easily and it just leaves the uh, marks that you've made that you've incised into the wax with your tool. It leaves those dark and removes the rest of the pigment. Mm -hmm. 